Good morning friends. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. This channel has been started with the object to, to provide free education to all the computer science students in this COVID pandemic. This channel has been started on May 22nd, 2020. Within less than four months, we have uploaded around 400 videos till now related to the subjects called DBMS, Theory of Computation, computer organization and computer networks. Till now we have 2500 subscribers. So with their continuous support, I have completed those four subjects and I started the fifth subject called digital logic design. In this video, I want to discuss the syllabus for digital logic design and what is the weightage for this subject in last five gate exams and also how to contact me to ask your queries all these things i will discuss so i request everyone to watch the complete video first let me discuss the syllabus related to digital logic design it consists of boolean algebra and combinational circuits and sequential circuits in the combination circuits i will discuss about the half adder full adder and then parallel adder all these things I will discuss and multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoder, decoder, all these things I will discuss. Then coming to the sequential circuit, I will discuss about the latches, flip-flops such as SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, T flip-flop and D flip-flop. Then I will discuss about the counters such as synchronous counters, asynchronous counters. In synchronous counters, I will discuss about the shift counters such as ring counter and johnson counter then i will discuss about the asynchronous counter such as ripple up counter ripple down counter all these things i will discuss one by one then i will discuss about the minimization how to minimize a boolean expression by using the boolean algebra and even i will discuss about with the help of k maps and then we will discuss about the number system and the computer arithmetic with related to fixed and floating point number. In floating point number, I will discuss about the single precision and double precision. So all these concepts I will discuss in detail. And each concept, now suppose let's say that I was discussing about the flip-flops. What are the previous gate questions were asked related to the flip-flops? And similarly, when I was discussing about the counters, I will discuss few gate questions related to that concept so that you will understand the concept and also you will understand related to this concept what kind of gate questions will be asked okay now let me discuss about the weightage of this subject in the gate exam don't think that this subject is only important for the gate exam it is very important for the UGC net exam and also these videos will be helpful for the students who are preparing for the university exams also don't think that it is only for the gate in the gate 2020, 4% of the marks were asked. In 2019, it was 9%. In 2018, 4%. In 2017, it was 5%. In 2016, it was 5%. So regularly, they are asking 4 to 5% of the marks related to this subject. So I think you can understand the importance of this subject. And if you want to understand the computer organization in a better way, first I refer you to go to the digital logic design once you complete the digital logic design then only start teaching the computer organization then a lot of people have a doubt sir how to contact you if i have a doubt you can ask the doubt in the comment section of the youtube suppose i was discussing about the combination circuit full adder you have not understood some topic related to the full adder then you feel free to ask the doubts in the comment section if you are feeling shy or your doubt cannot be expressed in the comment section, then you can contact me with the email ID called parnikatutorials at the red gmail.com where Parnika Tutorials is our channel name at the red gmail.com. You send an email within 24 hours, I will respond to your email. I hope you have understood the importance of the digital logic design and also the importance of the Parnika Tutorials channel. If you have not liked the video, please press the like button, share the videos and subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, regularly you will get the updates. Okay. If you still have any doubts related to any computer science subject, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.